he forgot. Or maybe he didn't care that I was a child in his eyes. It was something animalistic and wild. See, he wanted me. He wanted my four-foot frame, 65 pound wearing nothing but the t-shirt and panties that my mama put on me. Took me out of the bed through a window that I was laying next to because of the heat. See, my mama put me there because she was trying to keep her baby cool, not knowing that somewhere in the sick mind of this fool, he decided that he wanted me. He decided he wanted to rape me, and he didn't care about the years of terror that I would live in or about the damage to my undeveloped female system. He just wanted to do him. And on an old wooden table with no lights for people to see this sin, he did. And I said, ouch. <laughs> and he said, but I like it. And I screamed and he fought and he covered my mouth and told me don't fight. And he even put his in my mouth. Told me don't bite it. And this went on for hours until his sickening desire was being fulfilled. And afterwards I went from being something he wanted to something that he wanted to kill. But what he didn't know is by that time my mother had called the police. And why they put out an APB? Mama was praying for me. Not knowing what was happening, she just asked God to bring her, bring her baby home. And I heard her saying that prayer confuses the enemy, which has to be true, because with a gun to my head, he drove me to my own front yard and screamed, get away from me. Pushed me out of the car, and now dirty t-shirt and bloody underwear. And I walked up to the door because I saw my mama praying, and the pain was no longer there. Walked past the cops to my mother, who was sitting in a chair. And she cried. And I remember the doctors, the hospital, and the nurse. I remember them saying that I would be okay and it could be worse. I remember the courthouse and having to tell them what happened to me. And I remember the judge telling me to sit on his knee and point to the man who didn't care. Or maybe he forgot what I, that I was a child. And later burst something in me that turned wild. But my mother, she prayed for me. See, I went... <laughs> From being afraid to being around men to not really caring and just want to sleep with all of them. And I can write a really hot sex piece. And you might want to label me as a freak. But the truth is that I'm a little girl trying to get back my power and my peace. Because the decision was made for me. He took my virginity. I didn't give it to him. It was ripped from my hands. So scars that are there. I don't expect you to understand. Because for a long time I didn't know myself why would I want to mess around with one person when I was in a relationship with someone else. Was there something really wrong with me because I kept hearing this from others but when you go through something like that you're going to pick one extreme or another. But my mother she prayed for me. Sex ain't never equated to love because I never wanted to be loved like that. And intimacy was a foreign concept to me because many brothers don't know how to do that. So now, having sex with you only served one thing in my head, the power to get to choose who I let in my bed. So I'm sorry. I did not love you. Even if those were the words that I said because how could I love him when you was him telling me <laughs> what to do I see him telling me to be grateful for what he was giving me every time you tell me to get over it I see him telling me to be thankful what I was getting and get back on my knees every time you put what you want over me I see him the look in his eyes of a man who forgot him maybe he didn't care that I was a child like you Forget that I'm a woman, broken in pieces, and this piece is to heal me. And my mama, she prayed for me. Because daily, I fight the memories of the moment that was meant to destroy me. And any time I hear anything that contradicts who I am, I sometimes get scared to speak for me. But he, nor you, can no longer have power over me so now you will see me and it may come out crazy sometimes and there may be some tears that I have to cry but I can't forget and I need to care that I was a child who was now a woman learning how to smile learning that the moment doesn't make up my destiny to be who I am looking in the mirror back at me and 
all of this is possible because my mama she prayed for me mama prayed 